Welcome back to Market Headlines. So everyone is longing for economic recovery to happen as soon as possible. But frankly speaking, Minister of Finance Sri Mulyani Indrawati predicts that Indonesia's economy will grow slower in the first quarter of 2021. Pessimism hurdles the economic recovery in the first quarter of 2021. Minister of Finance Sri Mulyani Indrawati projects that the economic growth in 2021 will only rebound in the second quarter of 2021, not in the first quarter. This is because the first quarter of 2021, the economy will be still under pressure as people purchasing power weakens. Second quarter is more promising because there will be a period of high season public demand as there will be a momentum of Ramadan and Eid al Fitr holidays. As for the whole year, the Sri Mulyani is optimistic that the economic growth for 2021 will still be at the level of 5% year on year. This is in accordance with the government's surrogate and state budget for fiscal year 2021. From all sources, IDX Chano. So Indonesia had been through rough 2020 and we have to appreciate that. But still, pessimism covers Indonesia in 2021 as Minister of Finance projects that the economic growth in 2021 will only rebound in the second quarter of 2021, not in the first quarter. So how's the market conditions then? So what should investors do? We're going to have further discussions live by Zoom with Frankie Prastio as the head of equity trading. He will elaborate more on a capital market in 2021 as investors had into crucial phase of recovery. His recommendations may provide valuable directions for building a resilient portfolio. So how? Hello, Frankie. Hello, Clara. Hello, Frankie. Here's the yes. case. The first quarter of 2021, it's still under pressure because the yep. people purchasing power weakens. So does this affect investor behavior? Uh, actually, I believe that uh, currently people's appetite on investing in risk assets is actually higher mm -hmm. uh, because of a phenomena called TINA. Uh, TNNA is out there is no alternative. Right. As currently, the yield of deposito is uh, not as high or attractive as, like, let's say, like 10 years ago. Uh, right now, uh, when you deposit your money, you get like uh, below 4% net. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and also the businesses are, rel are relatively restricted. So when they have excess cash, uh, they, they usually put their cash to work in a more yielding uh, asset class. Uh, which is stocks. So, uh, which is also why we see that the SID or the number of investors is actually rising. It rises like I think 60, uh, based on the data, 60% uh, uh, year on year. So, it is a significant rise for uh, retail investors and especially the millennial investors. All right, sir. So, when we talk about the sentiment in here, as we know that there is a pessimism from the Minister of Finance, Rimuliani, that stated that economic recovery in 2021 would likely happen in the second quarter, not in the first quarter of 2021. Yes, yes. Do, you, do you see any of influential to the JCI? Uh, I believe that the COVID-19 situation is not unique to Indonesia. Well, by that, what I mean is uh, Indonesia is not the only country that suffers from the pandemic. That is uh, the worst pandemic in 100 years. Uh, so when all other countries are suffering the same, they have to adjust their numbers also. And when they adjust the numbers, I believe the sentiment will be relatively neutral to us. And the big thing for in institutional investors are uh, where to put the fund to generate uh, yield, to generate higher yield, especially in this low interest rate environment. And on this, I believe that emerging market is uh, especially a good place. It's a good, it's a sweet spot in the market because uh, our, first, our blue chip valuation is uh, still relatively uh, cheap, especially if we, con uh, if we compare it to like the other uh, markets. And then uh, the, uh, the second one is we have an uh, interesting bond yield. Uh, for instance, 20% of uh, inter, uh, investment grade bond, it, was, it is trading in a negative yield. And the vast majority is traded below 4%. And our soon, our Surah Utang Negara, 
is currently yielding uh, 6.27%. Uh, 6 so I believe that uh, with that, uh, we are quite in a good uh, we are quite in a good position to gather to, to get investors. And then I believe that we are uh, the fourth most populous country in the world, which means that in Indonesia the market is huge and we have a really really interesting growth story. So okay. that that uh, yeah. That's really interesting that you say that investors in Indonesia are paying attention to investment. I mean, we've been through a lot in 2020, but right now in yes. 2021, people are going to the stock market and other investments. And of course, sir, when we talk about investors in here and flocking of investors in 2021, we can see that JCI rally uh, this month. Yes. Well, despite the Santa Claus rally and the January effect, we can see that JCI movement is really fascinating uh, these days. But as we know that JCI yesterday was closed at the red territory and up to now, JCI was closed at the level of 6,300, which is a, in a red zone. Do you think that this yeah. correction is health enough or do you think that uh, there are will be another corrections coming up? Okay, uh, actually... Uh our theme uh, for Indonesia for long term is actually good, right? But as we can see that this year has been uh, rallied since the U.S. presidential election in uh, the 3rd of November. It is from 5,100 to right now, I think, uh, 6,020. That means uh, it, has, it has been rallying for like 25%. It is a significant rally in just a short amount of time. So uh, I believe that a correction is to be expected. And about how deep the potential correction, it, it really depends on the market sentiment. Because uh, right now, uh, sorry, when the market goes down, it, uh, it was because of uh, the rise in COVID spike, spike in the COVID cases. But on the other hand, when the year, and the year end of last year, we see the spike in COVID cases, but the market keep rallying up. So it really all depends on the market sentiment. And we believe that uh, 6,000 will be a major, major support for uh, GCI. And for mm -hmm. one note, I think that in the early January, uh, we've got like Santa Claus Valley uh, in the in the December, right? Yes. And January effect. And the, the first, I mean, like the this past rally, uh, usually I call it uh, the influencers rally. All uh, right, it, sir. It, That's it's, a, it's a little win, but yeah, yes. it is what it is. That's really interesting, sir. So <laughs> you say that you are very optimistic in the capital market situation 2021, and we have to yes. enjoy the rally of JCI itself, sir. Yes. Thank you for your time with us, sir. That's really interesting yes. conversations. So, viewers, stay tuned with us because market headlines will be right back after this quick break.